What's good, y'all? It's Blood Ross back out again with another video. So, we're gonna check out 10 most unexpected WWE wrestlers' tap outs. Now, it depends on how the wrestler is booked. A lot of times, if you have a wrestler that's been booked very strong for a very long time, they rarely get pinned, they rarely lose. Um, and obviously, if they rarely get pinned and they rarely lose, there's a good chance that they probably don't even tap out. So, when you actually have a wrestler, tap out or say for example if you guys remember when roman reigns was facing uh daniel bryan i think it was i want to say i forgot what pay-per-view it was it was right before daniel bryan i want to say maybe it was right before maybe after wrestlemania they had i forgot what situation what pay-per-view it was i want to say it was before their wrestlemania match with edge where Roman Reigns actually tapped. He tapped out. Rome, Daniel Bryan made him tap out, but the ref wasn't there to see it. Those situations, it's still a rare thing to see, even though the person tapped out and it wasn't, you know, the person, you know, they didn't lose off of it, but just it shows how big, you know, how important that 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 wrestler's like win streak is and how they've protected that wrestler. You barely see it. You know, so we're going to check out some of these moments where a wrestler ended up tapping out that you rarely saw or it was a, a rare occurrence that it happened. Appreciate all the love support you guys shown on the channel. Let's get right into this one, man. The most unexpected WWE tap out. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also, check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. Number 10, Asuka. When uh, Asuka first arrived in WWE, she was protected in... That one definitely hurt me, bro. She should not have been tapping out. She shouldn't have been losing to Charlotte that year at that year's WrestleMania. That hurt. Incredibly well. During a time in NXT, Triple H insisted that Asuka wasn't pinned, and this subsequently meant that she was called up to the main roster undefeated. Just a few months into her main roster run, her streak would be shattered in a match on the grand stage of WrestleMania. At WrestleMania 34, Asuka wrestles Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's title, and in shocking fashion, she, she tapped, tapped out bro. to Flair. This was a booking move that not a single fan saw coming. Heading into the match, Asuka was the undisputed favorite to win the matchup, and nobody could have ever predicted Flair to win, and nobody in their wildest imagination could have predicted Asuka to tap out to the figure eight. Yeah, nah, bro. That, I still think that's a horrible booking decision. Flair was going to be, Charlotte was going to be Charlotte regardless of her beating. Charlotte didn't need this win. That's what I'm saying. Nobody's going to look at Charlotte any differently if she would have lost to Asuka. I think you give Asuka that win there and you have someone else, someone newer up and coming beat Asuka. That makes them a star. Charlotte was already, a, she's, her name, her last name's Flair. She's already a bona fide star. What are we talking about? Fans are still debating the match finish years later, as some fans believe that this was a backwards move to make Asuka tap out to Flair, while some believe it was the right time for Asuka to lose, especially as she was now full-time on the WWE main roster. No. Number 9, Kane. That's, uh, that's whilst my Kane opinion. lost a lot during his first few years in WWE, the Big Red Machine tapping out was simply out of the question. Mm -hmm. However, when Kane wrestled Kurt Angle in late 2001, WWE believed it was the right moment for Kane to be booked to show some element of vulnerability. Ability. During the match, Stone Cold Steve Austin would interfere, attacking Kane's leg with a steel chair. This interference allowed Angle to lock in the trademark ankle lock and make the former WWE Champion tap out. It was a surprising finish, yet due to how legitimate and credible Angle was, it didn't mm -hmm. damage Kane's aura and mystique. It simply added another layer of character development to both Kane and Kurt Angle. Number 8, Kane Velasquez. It became apparent from the moment Kane Velasquez debuted in WWE that they had major plans for the former UFC star. Velasquez would debut following Brock Lesnar's Awful. WWE title victory over Kofi Kingston on SmackDown, and Velasquez was instantly booked in a WWE title match on pay per view against Lesnar. Now, there were reports at the time that WWE were high on Velasquez, and there seemed to be a huge disconnect between WWE and the fans when it came to him. Yeah. WWE believed he was this huge star that WWE fans had interest in seeing, but that simply wasn't the case. No. Whilst most WWE fans were aware of who he was thanks to his UFC days, there wasn't exactly a demand to see him in WWE, and booking him in the title picture was a move that turned fans against him. 
The match between Velasquez and Lesnar took place at the Crown Jewel pay-per-view in 2019, and heading into the match, there were rumblings that WWE could pull an upset and crown a new champion. However, the match would end up lasting just two minutes, as Lesnar made Velasquez tap out to the Chimera Lock. This match was universally bashed by fans, and it was It was a waste of everybody's time. Waste of everybody's time, bro collectively considered a waste of everyone's time. This would end up being Velasquez's only televised WWE match, making Velasquez one of the biggest busts in WWE history. <laughs> Number 7, Gunther Walter. Mm. During his time on the NXT UK brand, Gunther, who was known as Walter at the time, was presented as a final boss style character, and he was pretty much unbeatable. However, when Gunther faced off with Ilya Dragunov, mm -hmm. WWE had finally found the man that could defeat Gunther and take his NXT UK title. The match at NXT TakeOver 36 is considered one of the most exceptional yes. matches of the past decade. Bags. And it was so celebrated that it was awarded 5.25 stars by Dave Meltzer from the rest Fantastic of the match. newsletter. The match would end in an abrupt yet satisfying manner as Dragunov locked in a mm -hmm. sleeper hold onto the ring general. And the hold was so tight that Gunther had no choice to tap out. It was a huge surprise that WWE decided to book Gunther to tap out, as whilst it was expected that Gunther would drop the title on this historic evening, a tap out loss seemed out of the question. Number 6, Becky And once again, shit, we may see that. We may see that happen. He has not tapped on the main roster. We may see that happen again sometime down the road since we got Ilya dragging off on the main roster as well we may see that happen because it's different when you beat Gunther that's that's a milestone on its own but having someone make him tap out oh my god the, the, <laughs> that, that would be mind-blowingly incredible the reaction especially if you build up somebody like a Ilya you build him up you want to see that match and he finally gets him to tap oh my god starting to make it that's why it's 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 always crazy to see when these situations happen because you usually it's always on a wrestler that's been very protected and it's supposed to make that wrestler that makes that person tap out that much more credible so he lynch by the time WWE arrived at the 2019 Royal Rumble, Becky Lynch had emerged as the most popular talent in the company. Therefore, when Lynch took on Asuka in the opening contest of the Rumble, fans expected Lynch to either win the match or be protected in defeat. It therefore stunned fans when Asuka made Lynch tap out after an outstanding match that is incredibly underrated in the grand scheme of things. Mm. Despite losing via tap out, the 2019 Royal Rumble would go on to become a night Lynch and her fans would never forget as she ended up winning the Women's Rumble match later in the evening and would go on to headline WrestleMania 35. Yeah, Number yeah that was kind of crazy. I forgot that even happened. <laughs> five, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mm -hmm. In the summer of 2001, WWE proceeded with a heel Stone Cold Steve Austin mm -hmm. versus a babyface Kurt Angle feud for the WWE title. Whilst there was some concern at first that this would be an odd mix for a 2001 program, fans ate it up and the two legends of WWE managed to bring the best out of each other. Mm -hmm. Although Angle's run as a babyface was brief, he did have some wonderful moments and the matches with Austin were tremendous, especially the two pay-per-view matches at SummerSlam and Unforgiven respectively. Yep. Speaking of the Unforgiven matchup, WWE did the unthinkable in the match as they had Austin tap out to Angle. It was one of the key moments of WWE programming mm -hmm. in 2001, and Austin did a magnificent job in putting over Angle as a heroic babyface. Number four. It's rare that it happens, bro. But once again, it, it there's nothing wrong with you tapping out. It's it's a rare situation, but it's there's nothing wrong with you tapping out, especially if you're able to make that other wrestler get over even more. Brock Lesnar. The WWE truly found the next big thing in 2002 with Brock Lesnar. Lesnar had an incredible look and his in-ring work was the exact thing that WWE fans were crying out for at the time. He was protected in his booking between mm -hmm. 2002 to 2003, yet during his second heel run in 2003, Lesnar would begin to tap out more and more on TV as well as major pay-per-view events. One of the more shocking times this occurred was at the 2003 Survivor Series. Chris Benoit, who was slowly being built as one of WWE's top babyfaces, made Lesnar tap yep. out to the crossface. 
This occurred during a traditional Survivor Series matchup, and the crowd reacted as if Benoit had just won the title. Mm -hmm. When this tap out first happened, fans were quick to assume that Lesnar vs Benoit for the title was the destination for WrestleMania 20. And although that wouldn't end up being the creative direction, WWE did book a match between the two on SmackDown in late 2003, and it was without question pay-per-view main event quality. Number 3. Roman Reigns yep. Upon debuting a heel persona in 2020, WWE put extra focus on protecting Roman Reigns through his booking. Reigns would go off for years without being pinned, and when he was eventually pinned by Jey Uso at the Money in the Bank event in 2023, it was presented as a huge deal. A very many huge fans moment. often forget about Reigns is that he actually mm -hmm. tapped out in 2021 during I was just, I talked about this at the beginning of the video, bro. This was such a cool moment. Even though it didn't lead to him losing the match, Roman had never tapped. That was the first time. And it was all, it, it was set up so perfectly because... Daniel Bryan, his whole thing is, I'm going to make you tap. I'm going to I'm going to put you in a situation where you have to tap. It didn't, it didn't result in him winning, but it's the fact that you saw the visual of him tapping out. That was such a cool moment, bro. Such a cool moment. Premium live event match against Daniel Bryan. The match in question took place at the fast lane mm -hmm. event. And when the referee was down, Reigns tapped yep. out to the yes lock. Obviously, due to the referee being down, the tap out didn't mm -hmm. count. Yet it was a crazy visual to see this version of Reigns tapping tap out. out. Yeah, the matchup between Reigns and Bryan was ex and it made Daniel Bryan look that much more formidable because he made him tap, even though the ref didn't see it. He made Roman, who never tapped, tap. That's why this was such a good match. Such a good match, bro. Exceptional, and it's a shame that the match and the tap out rarely surface when it comes to online discourse. Mm -hmm. The match took place during the COVID-19 pandemic, so it's completely understandable why fans may have had their minds elsewhere when the match went down. Number two, The Undertaker. It's well documented just how much respect The Undertaker had for Kurt Angle. The two had undeniable chemistry mm -hmm. in the ring, and Angle holds the honor of being the first person to make The Undertaker tap out. Yeah. On an episode of SmackDown in 2002, The Undertaker tapped out to a choke, and it was a moment where time stood still. WWE did attempt to protect the dead man with the tap out as the match ended up a draw. draw as yeah. WWE claimed that Angle's shoulders were down on the mm -hmm. map. I remember the that. The, it's just the way they, they framed it up to protect him, but man, hey, you can this is why Kurt Angle, he deserves to be on your top 10, maybe your top 5. It doesn't matter. Kurt Angle was that fucking good. The thing about the particular tap out was that Angle succeeded without needing the ankle lock. Mm -hmm. Angle made one of the most protected names of all time tap out using moves that wasn't even in his traditional arsenal. Mm -hmm. This yet again highlighted how much respect and admiration the dead man had for him, <laughs> as you know that how to say in the tap out finish. And number one, Hulk Hogan. Yeah. The idea of a babyface Hulk Hogan <laughs> tapping out seemed like an impossibility. That was until Hogan faced off against Kurt Angle at 2002's King of the Ring. <laughs> Vince McMahon made the bold call to have Hogan tap out to Angle, and this was a major deal. And it acted as a big time boost for Angle, who was being presented as one of the most legitimate wrestlers in the company at the mm -hmm. time. Hogan notoriously often had an issue with putting over other talent, yet according to Angle during an AMA on Reddit, Hogan didn't have an issue with the booking decision. I remember meeting crazy with to Vince say. McMahon and Hogan came into the room. Vince was just off to the side. Basically just said, we were looking at each other and I hear Vince say, all right, Terry, you're going to tap out to Kurt tonight. Terry paused for about five seconds and he looked me in the eyes and he said, okay, let's do this. Well, there you have it, folks. Ten and that's crazy because we're talking about Hulk Hogan here who would, who's notoriously known for not putting people over. Not like not. Nah, I'm not losing clean. So that just lets you know how respected and revered Kurt Angle is. If you got Hulk Hogan willing to do the job for you, that's crazy, brother. <laughs> but comment down below. Let me know what was the greatest tap out finish you've ever seen where when you saw it happen. You you couldn't believe what you were watching on your television screen. Like, holy crap, this person tapped out. You kind of marked out for it. Let me know what was your favorite tap out moment ever in wrestling. It doesn't even have to be in WWE. It can be whatever company. But I appreciate all the love support you guys showing on channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still going to be the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.